Mm -hmm. We got the best that glory had to give mm -hmm. in his son, Jesus Christ. Amen. So why do I overly concern myself All right, now. with something I ain't going to keep nowhere? All right. All right. You ain't going to keep it. Right. You ain't going to take it with you. Mm -hmm. Even Job told his wife, woman, let it. Let it. Talk to her, Job. What you say, Job? Job said, I told her, let it. <laughs> Came I out of my mother's womb mm -hmm. and naked yeah. shall I return mm -hmm. to the womb of the grave. Mm -hmm. The Lord gives mm -hmm. and the Lord takes away. Mm -hmm. But his name yes. is still yes. blessed. Yes. Can you serve God without having what you want for Christmas? Amen. Come on in the room when you can. Can you serve God? Because you didn't have enough that you felt to do what you wanted to do for your family. All right. Can you still maintain your faith in God Amen. without the materialistic things of life? All right. Because see, that's all they are. That's it. And if the devil can get you so concerned with material stuff, yeah. if he can get you so concerned with having this and having that and having this is what I want. I want this. I want that. I want, I want, I want. Yeah. Y'all see that? You see what I'm talking about? All the time, mm -hmm. you are neglecting the fact that you have what you need. Amen. Uh-huh. And that's how Satan operates. Mm -hmm. That's how he chokes the word out of us. Mm -hmm. He gets us to confuse our wants with our needs. Mm -hmm. And when he does that, he got you. Mm -hmm. Oh, he'll wrap them devilish arms around your throat mm -hmm. and choke all that word at you. Mm -hmm. You'll be neglecting God for what you want. You'll be doing stuff you know you ain't got no business doing because of what you want. You'll be living in places you know you don't need to be living in. Not because of your need, but because of what you want. Mm -hmm. You will convince yourself mm -hmm. that this is what you need. Mm -hmm. All the time, God is knowing That's right. mm -hmm. it's just something that you want. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Money can do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Money can get you a front row seat at the game, mm -hmm. get your court side mm -hmm. when the bulls are playing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Money can get you a first class flight yes. anywhere you want to go. Sometimes in the court of law, money can get you the bird that you want, mm -hmm. depending on who you can buy out. Mm -hmm. But you know that even, even the world says that money came by love. Hmm. That's what they said. That's what they said. They said it came by love, but they'll show that you ran for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> oh, no, you can't buy it, but you can rent it for the weekend. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> but even the world recognizes that there are some limitations <laughs> to this stuff called money. Mm -hmm. And so when you're a child of God, the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches need to be the least of my concern. Because God has promised me my needs. Yes, yes. And Jesus has reminded me mm -hmm. that my heavenly Father yes. knows what I have need of mm -hmm. even before I ask him. Yes. He said he already knows what I need now. Amen. So before I go to him with all these long pretentious request. Mm -hmm. Let me sit back and examine mm -hmm. whether or not I already got mm -hmm. what I need. Because mm -hmm. if I got what I need, I got what I need to tell him thank you. That's right. Yes. That's right. For my needs. Mm -hmm. And there's something about God being who he is All right. and how he is. Mm -hmm. When God knows that you don't trust in things. Right. Because that's what Jesus said. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness. 
and all of these things. He said, you ain't got to ask him for it. All of these things. You ain't got to neglect service to go get it. If you put him first, when he sees that you don't care nothing about these things, he will bring them things to you. That's true. Amen. Because he knows that the things won't rule you. That's right. Yeah. The things won't choke his word out of you. That's right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so you're trying to get it the wrong way. <laughs> the way you're trying to get it, you ain't gonna keep it no way. That's right. Because as long as you trust him and all the, all the devil is so slick that he knows how to keep you running after something you ain't gonna never catch. <laughs> You know how to keep you running after some stuff you ain't gonna never catch. You be just like that coyote running after that road run. <laughs> that, that coyote been chasing that road run since I was a baby boy. All right now. I'm a grown man now. <laughs> Still ain't <that> got <laughs> That's where the devil is. He'll keep you chasing it. Because as long as you chasing that, you ain't serving God. That's right. right. That's true. As long as you ain't serving God, his word is being choked out. That's the danger of having that seed among that thorns in that soil. Are you here this morning? Do you realize what position you stand in with God? If Peter says that everything on this earth is going to be burned up, then what does it leave me? What does it leave me? If everything that we have become aware of it's going to be on fire. All right. Where does that leave me? All right. mm -hmm. If everything that I am enjoying is going to be disintegrated and destroyed, mm -hmm. where will I be All right. if I trust in the stuff Amen. that God is going to destroy? Mm -hmm. You have a chance this morning to change your priorities. Mm -hmm. If your priorities have been in things and been in stuff and you've been working hard to try to get more not of what you need but of what you want. Mm -hmm. You're seeking for a certain status in society. Mm -hmm. You're seeking to make a name for yourself by your own accomplishments and all of that. That will never ever truly satisfy you. Mm -hmm. Solomon was a man who had everything a man could ever ask for. He had riches, he had women, he had prestige, he had wisdom, he had clothes, he had gold, he had silver, he had jewelry, he had everything at his beck and call. Mm -hmm. And even Solomon said, all right, all right. it is all vanity. Yes, now if a man who had everything, mm -hmm. oh, Bill Gates didn't have nothing on Solomon. <laughs> And if Solomon could say, it's all bad, then what are you running after it for? Mm -hmm. He wrote that so that you wouldn't run after it. That's right. Solomon said, I ran after it, and I done discovered ain't nothing to it. Mm -hmm. right. He said, matter of fact, when you get to the conclusion of the whole matter, yes. you need to fear God mm -hmm. and keep his command. That's it. Because this is the whole duty of man. This is why you're here. Mm -hmm. You're here to serve God. Mm -hmm. And to keep his commandments. Because one of these old days, you're going to have to stand before God in judgment. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to give an account to him of everything that you've done. Mm -hmm. Whether it be good or bad. Mm -hmm. So where will you stand in the day of judgment? Mm -hmm. I hope and pray that if you're already God's child this morning, that your heart has been pricked and you realize where you are mm -hmm. in your relationship with God. And that you'll have the courage to come forth and repent of your sins and confess the fact that you have sinned because according to 1 John 1 9, our God is faithful and just to forgive you. Mm -hmm. And if you're not God's child, you can become one by obeying the gospel, believing that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, repenting of your sins, confessing the fact that you believe that Jesus Christ is God's Son, walk on down this aisle, make that confession, repent of your sins in your heart, and we'll take you down this water and baptize you. And in that water, Jesus will wash all your sins away, Acts chapter 22 and verse 16. The Bible says in Acts 2, 4 to 7, that the Lord will put you in the church. You'll be in the one you can read about in the Bible. Ain't but one in the Bible, man. I know there are thousands out here in the world. But ain't but one.